In this class, let's talk about how to organize layers panel and also how to make pre-composition. Let's go down to the layers panel over here. You, we can see all these different layers that was imported from Illustrator. I got this uh, first one that says Motion Graphics 2022. This is my text over here. So the way I want to organize this, I want to color label it and I also put the same elements into the same composition. Let's just go through this from the top to the bottom. Right now I got this text here. I can change this label color in the front here. Click on this and then maybe change it to red. So this one has a red label. So the top circle here belongs to this top section. And then the base belongs to over here. These should be a group. Right now, what I want to do is I want to find this handle here. Click on this handle layer and then hold shift on keyboard. Select all these other layers. And if I go down, I can you can see these three layers are selected as well. I just want to move them all together, just drag one of them. And then you see this blue line here. I want to drop the four of them underneath this top circle. If I release it, you can see these four layers all came together. After I have these four selected, I want to create a composition that hosts all these four layers. Composition is like a folder where you have different layers within one composition. The way to do that is the keyboard shortcut is command shift C. Once I have these four layers selected, I put Command Shift C, and then it brings up the pre-composition window. Let's name this handle. Click on OK. Now I have a composition created. If I go to the project panel over here, you can see this handle composition is created over here underneath the render comp, which is not correct. I need to move this to the pre-comps. And now we have this pre-composition within the pre-comps folder. That's our handle. That's good. And the next thing, I want to find all these little dots here. One way is I can just click on the first one that's on top and then hold down shift, click on the last one. You can see all of these little dots are selected. I also want to separate the top dots and the bottom ones. So I need to figure out which ones are the top ones and which ones are the bottom ones. I'm just trying to click through all these. It seems 27, this layer 27 over here, that says layer 27, is the first one on the bottom. So I'm going to try to select the 27 all the way to the top one over here. And now I'm just missing this middle one. Just hold down shift and then click on, try to click on this one. It doesn't work. Well, I'm just creating a pre-composition with all these and then find this one, put it within the composition I created. After I select all these dots, Command Shift C. Let's name it dots one on the base. So like dots one base, click on OK. Now I got these dots and then I need to find this middle one here. The last one is the middle one here. Command X, cut it, and then double click on this composition, and then Command V, paste it. Now I've got all these dots within this composition. Let's go back to the main comp. I can hold down this mini flow chart and then hold down it and then go back to the main composition. If I toggle between this eye icon here, you can see I can show and hide all these dots. And I also want to put this uh, Motion Graphics 2022 text within this composition as well. So I'm going to Command X, cut it, and go inside here, copy. So this is my border over here. Go back to the main composition. Now I want to do a pre-comp with all the little dots on top. So same thing. Command Shift C, dots 2 on the top. That's good. And now we got the demo reel here. These are my name letters. And these are the gray rectangle underneath the letter. This is a black base 
So what I want to do is I want to group this base all together within with everything. So I want to try to find all these layers. It's got the base blue, not the star, not the top. Yeah, something like this. So if I do command shift C, this is a base. If I toggle between the eye icon, you can see I've select everything other than the letters and also the dots. I can group all these letters together, this, which is my name. Command shift C, home shoe, okay. Now I've got a name precom. I've got a base precom. I've got the the dots over here, and then I've got the dots top. I also need to group the top together. So I need to find the correct layer top. These are the top layers and then the top circle. You can actually hold down command to select the one that you want. Like say if I have these three selected and then I'm holding down command and then select this one so that I got four layers selected. Command shift C, this is gonna be the top. Click on okay. And I just need to put the top underneath this one here. So the base is actually covering the top because if I have the top on top of the base layer, base composition, it's going to show this border. It's going to show this edge, which is what I don't want. I just need to put it down there. I've got this star here. I can change it to yellow color. I've got two stars. So the two stars are going to be the yellow color. The three portfolio line is going to be change it to aqua. And then I've got one line here. can change it to blue color and the grid and the background color. I'm going to group these two together into a new composition. Command shift C, name it background. And one thing we forgot after we worked on everything, we forgot to save the file. So make sure you save the file as you go so you don't lose anything. Just go to file and then we can do a save as. Let's go navigate to the layer. I can change it to animation. Let's do like an intro animation and click on save. Now I've got the file saved and also I need to go back to the project panel and make sure to move all these precomps into the precomps folder. Yep. And now I've got a lot of pre-comps in the pre-comps folder and then still one main comp in the render comp folder. That's how we organize the layers. Now, if I toggle between these eye icons, you can see we grouped all these things together. And later on, we can easily animate them individually. That's it on this lesson about how to organize layers panel and also how to do pre-composition. In the next class, we can start animating the background.